When a Jewish person gets a tattoo, it is an act rooted in conflict. Permanently etching a Jewish image on your body is a bold statement. In many cases, people say getting tattoos brings them closer to God, offers them a sense of belonging, and displays their Jewish identity for the whole world to see. Jewish families of all levels of religious observance argue that a Jew should not get tattoos. It is prohibited in the Torah, and there is the powerful deterrent of the Holocaust as a cultural memory. In addition, there is the myth that if you get a tattoo, you can't be buried in a Jewish cemetery. Why is it so important for these individuals to get tattoos? Tattoo Jew explores the controversy and the colorful stories of these unique people. Being tattooed as a Jew is very bizarre. I mean, I get shit from my family all the time, but over the years, they've learned to accept me. They know what I'm doing. They know, like, the goal that I have, which is great, finally. But it's taken a lot of trying to teach them that I'm not just some stupid kid who went into a tattoo shop, picked number 32, and boom, you know? It was a lot of work, and it's still a lot of work. My mom wasn't too happy with it, but... I think she just sort of accepted that I'm going to do what I'm going to do at this point. I think she just said, you know, Jewish people don't get tattoos. <laughs> it's not something they normally do. Being from a pretty religious family, you know, it's, it's absolutely strictly against the religion. I mean, it does state in the Old Testament that you shall not mark yourself in any way. So it was definitely like, you know, Jews have tattoos, you're not buried in a Jewish cemetery or whatever. I mean, who's not gonna let a Jew get buried because of a tattoo? Tattoos and Jews is kind of uh, not uh, two words that you would find in one sentence unless you were talking about survivors who had tattoos from camps. Um, I tattooed myself with the symbols of Judaism, the Holocaust, a specific you know, time in history. Um, I've only had very few instances where people have acted differently towards me because they've seen what I have on me. Most of the time people are just like, ah, oh, whatever, it's a tattoo, she's, you know, a freak, but not, they don't explore what I'm doing. I mean, I've had people talk to me in supermarkets and, you know, ask me what is it and that looks familiar and so, I don't know. I. I took it upon myself and any repercussions that I'm going to have, it's my own doing. And I have, uh, the first one on my back was Lotishkach, um, which is, never forget, um, it's hard to remember all the ones I have. Uh, on my back, my upper back is the earth hide, not my blood. Uh, this one is the new one, which is never again. The Holocaust. At Auschwitz, Jews stood in the mud, naked, under gray skies. Tattoo needles buzzed as they were robbed of their individuality and marked with numbers. For today's Jews getting tattooed, there is pride in having the choice to be inked and a determination to say to the world, never forget. Their tattoos are an act of defiance against bigotry, persecution, and anti-Semitism. With the number tattooing, definitely, they were trying to degrade them. They basically removed every iota of humanity from them. They no longer had a name. They were not a person, they were a number. It made it easier for them as well to, you know, hey, it's just a number, let's get rid of them. Um, it dehumanized an individual, which at the time, that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to make the Jews seem like a, you know, an animal that had. Yes. <laughs> See, she's mad about the subject too. <laughs> but, you know, I always watch myself. I always have my head, like looking around. I'm always wary of people. I mean, I've had plenty of friends get beaten up. Look at Germany. It's a perfect example. You know, six million of us were exterminated because people got too relaxed with the way their life was. 
There is a member of my family that has a number that runs down his arm. That was his number to die. And they want to sit here and tell me that that never happened. Um, American troops found the remains of gas chambers and camps, and these people want to tell us that it didn't happen. We all know it happened. Being Jewish was really important. My grandparents were in the Holocaust. My grandfather was in Auschwitz. And um, when I was really young, like in fourth or fifth grade, I, I was totally obsessed with it. So when the world looks at me, I don't, I don't want them to forget. You know, this is Hitler's mark on the Jews. And you know what? He made them wear it. And it's my American right to have it now. And whoever sees it, yeah, I'm Jewish. Well, and what it really brings to my mind like marking and being marked. And choosing to mark yourself versus being marked something by someone else. And, you know, the Jews were marked. And whether or not it was always visual or not, it was, it was huge. And so that desire to be able to sort of escape someone else's identity, or the way someone else assumes or marks your identity was really appealing to people, I think, after the Holocaust. And sort of being able to be fluid and um, be culturally Jewish and, you know. Being inked is not just an act of rebellion. Jews with tattoos say their ink reinforces their connection to Judaism and gives them a sense of belonging. Their tattoos express their love of Jewish culture and tradition. My mother would like me to be Jewish, so I do have a Jewish star. And I got that from my mom one day, and I got it on the Sabbath. One Saturday I came home, and my mom said, what's that on your elbow? I said, I got a new tattoo. She said like this. And I showed her the Jewish tattoo, and she didn't talk to me for two months. I mean, I had always wanted to get it. Um, it's a yellow Jewish star. Um, and because, like I said earlier, like Holocaust and that my grandparents had been to it, been through it, um, it was really, really important to me and it really weighed heavily on me. Um, and it's, so I drew it and it's a Jewish star and it's yellow, which is like the Jewish stars that like the Jews were forced to wear during the Holocaust. I got it and then my parents didn't see it for a while, but when my mom saw it, they freaked out um, and yelled at me. My mom was like, you can't show Saba and Safa, which are my grandparents, your tattoos. So the rest of my family knows I have it. And um, I mean, it's kind of weird because, you know, like I sort of got it in honor of them. Um, but my mom thought that, you know, um, I shouldn't show it to them because they're going to freak out because of what they'd been through and that they would be worried and be scared about it. Above it, of course, my, my favorite tattoo, which would be, and this signifies, I mean, if you look at it, it's, it's cross battle axes with it. This kind of in the spirit of Judah Maccabee, you know what I mean? It kind of just, it, it says to me that I'm a Jew and I'm not going to take any shit if you try to oppress me for being Jewish. Um, other Jewish people actually think I'm pretty brave to put something like that on me. Some people have told me. And others have said, wow, that's just disgusting. Why'd you put it on? You know what I mean? So there's many different views. I think the one that I have does relate to my sense of my Jewish identity, actually. Um, yeah, I think that my relationship with language relates to my sense of my Jewish identity. And I think that in that my tattoo exemplifies or symbolizes my relationship with language and with words, I see it as a very Jewish tattoo. I grew up with my grandparents who were also Jewish. I was not, didn't, we didn't practice very regularly, so I still feel a lot of gaps in my understanding of what it means to be Jewish. In the last couple of years though, I think I've been doing a lot more kind of reading and thinking about it, and I feel like there's this, almost this movement of younger Jewish people talking about what that means. It's for some reason, identifying as Jewish has been a little more, has like risen for me.
Tradition, tradition would have to be like one, one of the one of the keys because uh, without tradition you don't have the religion. Our religion is based on on traditions, and so uh, because my mother is quite religious, I think that that you know she definitely instilled a lot of these traditions in me when I was really young. I learned all about Jewish laws and customs. I, I can still read and write Hebrew to this day. Um, I have a lot of family that live in Israel, so I'm constantly in touch with with Jewish culture. Uh, my uncle's a cantor. You know what I mean? So, so I, I definitely say I'm connected. No, no doubt about that. But what makes me Jewish is just is, is the fact that you know we're an oppressed people. You know we've been we've been put through hell every corner of this earth, and uh, and it's really important to you know to just to, to stick to your roots and know them. You know 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 your customs. Uh, be proud of it. Be proud of it, man. Because you know so many people out there are just not willing to. to some people hide the fact that they're Jewish. You know. Yeah, I'm not less Jewish. I mean, I've taken the time to, to learn about my people and culture. I've stu stood up for people in, in my religion. I mean, I really would like, would think I should be accepted as a Jew, just mm -hmm. like anyone else. The way I identify as being Jewish is, it was something I was born into. You don't really have a choice at that point. Um, as you grow up, you make your own decisions as to religion, as to who you're going to be. Uh, Judaism as a whole, I think, is an amazing religion. Jewish traditions and things that I've learned, I think it's really beautiful and it means a lot to me, you know, prayers when I hear them, you know, and things like that. I do believe that God is there and he's all forgiving and all merciful. So I don't believe that he's gonna send me to hell to go hang out with Lucifer. And I believe that if anything, I do have a place in Zion. I pray three times a day. I say the Shema three times and I say Modani when I wake up in the morning and I wash my hands. I always pray first and I ask the Lord to be my strength and shield as he was with David. And it starts off, um, he who dwells in the shelter of the Supreme One, under the protection of Shaddai, he will buy. I say, if I don't know, he is my refuge and my stronghold. And the rest goes on and on and on. And it's a protection, it's a prayer for protection. It's more of a one-on-one -on -one connection between me and God. It's not what the other congregants or the members of my congregation think of me. It has nothing to do with it. Um, to be Jewish is a way of life. It's an heritage. Jews with tattoos demonstrate an identity permanently etched in ink. While their actions are unconventional, these individuals are finding new ways of expressing Jewish pride. They are deeply connected to their Jewish roots. Their tattoos express a dedication and a love of a Jewishness that is bold, colorful, and original. You know, but I really think that more people should rise up because we've, you know, history has proven time and time again that, you know, we've been oppressed, we're going to be oppressed, people are going to hate us for whatever reason, you know, because they, they seem to have this misconception that we all think that we're chosen and we're better than everybody. And, and I don't really feel that way. I feel that we're all God's people, you know what I mean? And all of us, every last one of us. And, and you know, these different religions are just a different path to God. I'm, t I'm saying to people out there that, you know, I am proud to be Jewish and, and I will fight to preserve our people and, 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 keep, and, and keep our religion going because it's so important, regardless of whether I have tattoos or not, you know what I mean? So everybody out there who, who thinks they're better than I am because they, they don't have tattoos, maybe they should think again because, you know, I mean, I'd like to think that I've done a lot of studying in, in of Jewish history and Jewish culture. I'm familiar with my laws and customs even though I don't practice all of them. You know, and so maybe more people should be aware, you know. Definitely. But I'm definitely going to stick up for it till my death, no question about it. Anything is open to me. Why should I be restricted? You know, and that's how I live my life. And being torn apart like that, being a Jew and having tattoos, is a, I'm butting heads with myself all the time. You know, am I doing the right thing? Am I, you know, create, creating more problems for myself? But I've gotten to the point where, where now it's just all about me and I do what I want to do for myself and if people don't like it fuck them I think we should just be proud to be who we are and if it is a symbol of Judaism even more so I never hide yeah it's hard to hide at this point you know years ago yeah I could put a hat on and but now it's it's pointless and I don't want to hide anymore and I think Jews in general have like a fear Okay, we're going to be outed as Jews, God forbid, you know, we go into some little hick town, you know, and there's racism there. But you know what? I'm over hiding. I'm sick of it. 
I think everybody should be sick of it. You know, stand together, fucking be proud. Be proud of who you are. It's, this is me. I mean, nobody can take it away from me. Nobody.